Well, racing brings together a great uh, tapestry of society and community. People love to go to the races, they love to get dressed up, they love to go and have a bet. It's in our DNA, it's part of being quintessentially Australian. Is recalled, powerful, be optimistic, recalled the lanes in an epic cup, be optimistic, recalled, recalled, be optimistic. When the race round's on in Kalgoorlie, it's a vibe right through the town. So you usually have about 20 to 30,000 people rock up in Cal just to go to the races. And the vibe round town, it just buzzes, it's fantastic. I've just collected all my life. I love toys and I love dinkies and cars and things like that. My older brother didn't, he used to smash them with a pipe. So I had to go and get another one. So that's how collections start, I think. <laughs> I started collecting easy when I was about three or four years old. I used to collect stamps off envelopes and you collect hundreds of different ones. So stuff like that, that's stuff you could afford, you know what I mean? We've got signs, we've got tobacco bits, we've got advertising, we've got just about everything you can think of. I've got a, a magic Ali robe, which is used in 1971 when he fought Joe Fraser. It never gets washed, it stays the same. We've got his DNA on it. The bookies one there, that was from a local bookie here. That was his history. I, I was lucky enough to be able to buy all three that he had through the years. So that one goes back into the 1940s. That bookie board would have been used at the Cal Cup. It's the best week of the year in Cal. Racing is very important to Kalgoorlie, and people come here every year for the race round. And there are a lot of people that actually have been involved in the racing industry were ex from Kalgoorlie that are now in Perth. I was born and brought up in Dublin, in Ireland. I came to Australia in 1974, and I got a job in the mines for a year before I went to university. After two years manual labor, I decided to become an accountant. And I've been involved in a lot of businesses in Kalgoorlie. I'm chairman of a mining company. I own the Palace Hotel, the Australia Hotel. You're in my office. You know, over the years, I've had nearly every premier in West Australia, 25 years, lots of sports stars. And you look around, you've got Maradona shirt, Pele, Messi, Muhammad Ali shorts, gloves, Greg Norman, Don Bradman. So the whole place is full of sports memorabilia. Oh, I love racing. I love all the races. I put a bet on each race. On race day, it's 31 degrees. I mean, you couldn't ask better than that. I'm Annette, and we are here at Hannans North Tourist Mine in Kalgoorlie. We have over 30 exhibits here where you can climb aboard a dump truck and feel like an operator. Watch a live gold pour demonstration in our original 1920s gold room. I'm even going to take you and show you some gold panning. We're going to swirl it around. Hopefully with any luck we find some gold. Here we go. What I love about the Kalgoorlie Boulder community is it brings everybody together. Everyone supports everyone. And I think it shows it with all the community and the different things that happen throughout the year. The importance of racing here in Kalgoorlie Boulder is it picks up people's spirits. People know that they have a day to look forward to, whether it be a family day at the races or you go and hang out with some friends, maybe have a few cheeky champers. I've been calling races for 43 years and it started here on this course of history, the Kalgoorlie Boulder racetrack. And gave me the chance to visit racing centres all over the world. But it was certainly here in a place which gives everyone, I think, equal opportunity. The great thing about the Kalgoorlie Boulder Racing Club, Lutch, is that it attracts past champions that love coming to Kalgoorlie. Thanks for coming, boys. I'm off. There were old scrapbooks of racing detail and it was just sitting in old tea chests and being allowed to erode. And fortunately, I think the club saw with great vision and foresight the opportunity 
to create a very special racing museum. And that's where we find ourselves here today amongst these many great treasures of years gone by. Well, I was virtually raised in racing here in Kalgoorlie. I first had the opportunity to call here in 1978 and I practiced on an old cassette recorder just out the back of this beautiful museum. And I've been now broadcasting for 43 years, so I've been lucky enough to keep coming back to Kalgoorlie though every year since then, since leaving the gold fields and being able to be the broadcaster for the race round. I think the racing industry is fantastic for Kalgoorlie. The community themselves benefit by food, by hotels, by nightclubs, and also people seeing the area. It's about the social fabric of the community. It brings community together. It's a social occasion. I mean, obviously there's horses to watch racing, but it is a really big social occasion for us. It's just nice to get dressed up and, yeah, just enjoy it. If you're thinking of coming to Kalgoorlie, do it, because there's so much going on. The people are fantastic. We've got absolutely friendly people. They'd love to see you here. Why not come to Kalgoorlie and visit Kalgoorlie? There's always a great saying, and that was for all of the thousands and thousands of people that were born and bred in the goldfields, twice as many wish that they had a been, because it provides, I think, opportunity. And being a very close-knit community that it is, racing has always been very much at the forefront of it.